My name is Chris Strange. I'm a production manager for the Commissary Kitchen at Clover. The biggest responsibility I have is uh, overseeing the pita production for all of our restaurants. 282 grams of extra virgin olive oil. Um, it's a small amount relative to our recipe, but it acts as a huge natural preservative, giving us uh, probably an extra day of uh, really high quality fresh pita. Now Danny's gonna break up our baker's yeast so they can mix that with water in just a second. Now he's gonna measure out 5,500 grams of our main grain whole wheat flour that they literally mill for us when we order it. Um, it's not sitting in a warehouse in flour form. Um, it's not a year old. They literally milled this for us last week. And we're gonna add 650 grams of salt. Depending on the night and the humidity, anywhere between 34 and 35 pounds of uh, water. Um, it's the one real variable in our recipe. These are the kits that you saw Danny G making earlier. Our extra virgin olive oil. That's the yeast mixed with the uh, 90 degree water. Wow. Um, yeast activates between 90 and 100 degrees. If you go too high, it's gonna kill the yeast. Put a full bag of our high gluten organic flour. Um, the high gluten flour really gives it that sort of uh, pizza doughy texture um, as opposed to just regular AP flour. It also makes it, it's gonna make it a little bit stronger so that uh, we reduce the amount of cracking and holes in our pita, um, which obviously is ideal for us because we're making sandwiches out of, uh, out of everything. And at high speed, once it's all coming together, again, this is the stage where uh, we're getting some nice uh, gluten development. Um, you get that nice mouthful, you get structure, um, you get uh, strength so that we can build a sandwich out of it. So this is the most important part for flavor of where our dough bulk ferments. This is where most bakeries are actually skipping entirely because it just takes way too long. Um, but this is all the flavor. This is the dough that we took out of the mixer. We're letting it uh, ferment. Uh, we just beat the gas out of it so that it gets um, some more development. So what you can hear, this is dough that's been uh, bulk fermented for 50 minutes. Halfway through, they push it down, release the gas, let it rise again. He's gonna pull out, he's gonna beat out the gas a little bit, and he's gonna put it in our Conum machine, which is gonna make the nice dough ball uh, shape. So we're removing some of the gas uh, so that when it goes into the Koenig machine, it's just in its dough form. Uh, the Koenig is based off of volume and making our dough ball into actual weight. So it's gonna help keep our weight uh, accurate. Um, also, uh, you're removing that gas so that it's easier to work with. And depending on the humidity, you know, we might have to go a little bit faster. Um, and then we're gonna go to the sheeter stage here shortly. So this is the sheeter. After the dough balls rest for, uh, again, about 10 minutes or so, um, we're gonna take them and we're gonna put them through a double layer it, and it's gonna get it into our nice uh, disc form and hopefully the ideal shape that we want. Once it comes out of the sheeter, it's gonna go into our final proofing cabinet where it's gonna spend another 10 to 15 minutes proofing. This stage is really, you get that nice pocket if it proofs really, um, really ideally. Um, so again, 10 to 15 minutes. We're gonna do each batch nice and timed here. And then we're gonna come over right over to the oven. Then we're gonna load our, uh, our pita in by hand. The most important part is you don't wanna press it. You wanna be really, really gentle. So this is the most beautiful view in all of Clover. So what you see here is the pita baking from both sides at about 800 degrees Fahrenheit. The really cool thing about Israeli style pita is that even though this is going into a crazy hot oven, it's actually steaming and that's how it gets the pocket. It's so hot from both sides, the dough steams, boom, you get a nice beautiful pocket which we get to make sandwich out, sandwiches out of. So this is our beautiful pita coming out. Go ahead and take a look inside there. Sure. Once our pita's down to room temperature, we're gonna bag them five for each. We're gonna leave uh, plenty of uh, room in that bag so they don't get squashed going to our restaurants. So every single night, we're gonna do about five to 8,000 pieces of pita and send it to all 11 of our restaurants. That's the end of our night. We really appreciate you coming. Hopefully you learned a little bit about dough and how we make pita here. But I have to be honest, we got about 6,000 more pita and you're really just in our way. So it's time to get you out of here. The last step on our journey is talking about how special our Israeli uh, oven is. It literally came from the Middle East. Special, we had to get Hebrew translators to help with customs, um, everything. It took almost uh, two years to get installed between special permits and uh, plumbers and all of the above. If you're ever at Clover Hub, come in, check in with one of our Clover guides, or you can just enjoy your lunch while uh, looking at the mural. And then you can see in this whole process how long it took for us to get the oven installed um, from 
from stepping forward and stepping back. Uh, it was a huge, long process. But seriously, it's time to go. You gotta go. You're in our way now. We got a lot of pita to bake, a lot of pita to bake, and you're still here, you're still dragging on. Time to go.